Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, hope you're all well. And today I am going to be going through the autographs that I purchased at the London Film and Comic Con this year, 26th to the 28th of July 2019. Sorry it's taken me a while to do this, um, got some new equipment, um, so um, hopefully we shouldn't have any like light issues or any shining off pictures or anything so um this so is yeah, uh, let's go. Bannister. he appeared in spooks tv show and hustle uh, the next one um probably quite a few of you will probably know this person this is william shackner who played captain kirk in star trek and as you could probably see i have my photo with him as well the next one, uh, David Morrissey, known for The Walking and Dead. The other one is Robert Picardo. Um, I knew him from a 90s film called Inner Space. And the next one is Lee Majors, the Million Dollar Man. And next to that one is John Simpkin. He was uh, what was known Klaatu in Return of the Jedi in Star Wars. And following on from that, we have Walton Koenig. I think that's how his name's spelled. I'm not very good with uh, pronunciations. He was in Star Trek as Chekhov. And the lady next to him is from classic uh, Hammer Horror, and that's Barbara Shelley. And next we have Alan Harris, who played Bozik in Star Wars. And again, next to him, Billy D. Williams who played Lando Calrissian in Star Wars. And the next one is William Zabka. I think that's how you say his name. Um, he played Johnny in the original Karate Kid. And next to him is Philip Zayo. Um, he played Sho in um, Ready Player One. And next we have C.J. Graham, who played Jason, part six, Jason Lives, Friday the 13th. And next to him is James Jude Courtney, who played The Shape in the latest Halloween, and who's also gonna be the same in the 2020 version, called um, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends in 2021. Up next we have Gemma Whelan who played Yara Greyjoy in Game of Thrones and next to her is Ian White who played uh, one of the White Walkers, uh, Dongo the Giant and One One, I think a couple of other characters also from Game of Thrones. Next we have Matthew Linnard who played Stuart in um, the 90s comedy horror Scream and also he was in uh, Scooby Doo and 13 Ghosts. And next to him is someone I grew up with in Doctor Who, Sophie Aldred who played Ace. Uh, was the sidekick to Sylvester McCoy from 1987 to 1989, just showing off my age there. And next we have Mike Carter from Return of the Jedi, who was Bib Fortuna. And next to that one is David Norton, who was the American werewolf in London. He played David Kessler. And the next one is Robert Patrick, who played T-1000 in the 90s film Terminator 2 Judgment Day and next to him is Bob Gale and he is the writer of Back to the Future and next we have Leslie Easterbrook who played uh, Callahan in a comedy classic from again from the 90s uh, from Police Academy and next to her is Hugh Quashie who I knew best for playing Rick Griffin in Casualty and uh, he then went on to Holby City 
And next we have Jason Momoa. He play. He was in uh, uh, Game of Thrones, um, and also in uh, Aquaman. And next we have Brendan Fraser. Now I mainly knew him originally uh, in Due South a TV show. He was also in the film The Mummy, playing Rick O'Connell. And um, I think it was before that. I'm not sure it was before or after. He was also um, George of the Jungle. Next we have Emily DeRaven uh, from the TV series Lost. I used to love watching Lost. She played Claire Middleton. And next to her is Peter Purvis, who was in Doctor Who in 1965 to 1966 as Stephen Taylor. And also he was in the, uh, he was a presenter, sorry, on Blue Peter, 1967 to 1978. Uh, next we've got Charlie Sheen, who was in Two and a Half Men. He was in Hot Shots and Hot Shots Part Dure. And next to him is Dad Martin Sheen, who was in uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, Part 1 and Part 2, and also known for being in West Wing. And next we have uh, two characters from the TV show The Inbetweeners. Uh, Blake Harrison on the left, who played Neil Sutherland, and on the right, Joe Thomas, who played Simon Cooper. Now we have Katie Purvis on the left, who was in Return of the Jedi in Star Wars. Um, she was an Ewok. And also she was in Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part 2 as a Gringotts Goblin. And she was also in Sorcerer's Stone as a Goblin Banker. And next to her is Quentin Pierre. He was a Royal Guard in Return of the Jedi in Star Wars as Min... I uh, can't really pronounce the uh, surname, it's K-Y-E-U-G-H so yeah. <laughs> uh, he was also a um, stormtrooper called Adina in Empire Strikes Back. And next we have Val Kilmer. He was um, Batman in Batman Forever in 1995. He's also he was also in the original Top Gun with Tom Cruise. And next to him is Jenna Coleman, who was in Doctor Who. Next we have uh, John Barrowman, who was in Do he appeared in Doctor Who as Captain Jack Harkness. Um, coming from the um, his own show kind of from Doctor Who which was called Torchwood and uh, again show me age I also remember him firstly from doing what was called the movie game um, on children's TV in 1994 to 1995 and next to him we have Paul Blake who was in Star Wars A New Hope as Greedo and two Harry Potter stars here Devon Murray and Sean Biggerstaff. Next we have Phil Daniels who played Kevin in EastEnders. He was also in Quadrophenia as uh, his character was Jimmy and also in a kids uh, film called Chicken Run who played Fletcher the Rat. And next to him is Ethan Phillips. He was in Star Trek Enterprise as Ulyst. And the next one is Christina Ricci. Uh, she was in Adam's Family and Adam's Family Values as Wednesday. She was also in a uh, film many years ago in, again, the 90s. Uh, Casper uh, played Cat. And Sleepy Hollow alongside uh, Johnny Depp as Christina Van Tassel. And next we have Bernard Cribbins, who appeared uh, lately in Doctor Who. He's uh, quite a veteran as an actor, actually. Um, he also appeared in uh, the very early Carry On films. And coming to the last autograph, Lisa and Louise Burns. They were the twins from The Shining. Well, that brings us to the end of the collection I got from London Film and Comic Con this year. 
If you'd like to see uh, the vlog I did, it will be in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.